Today, the average home is over 2,300 square feet, more than twice the size of a home in the 50s. At the same time, the family size has diminished by nearly 25%. In a time when resources are vital and energy sources are becoming ever more scarce, it's time to reinvent the way the American family lives. One of the most interesting qualities about Encore is the concentric organization of the house. Beginning with the central core, surrounded by the flexible living space, the efficient walls, and the unique paneling system, the complexity of the house emerges as each layer is added. Part of the efficiency of a home is having all the complexities put into one smaller part. So with our house, we have it in the central core. The core is really the heart, lungs, and brain of the house. By consolidating the kitchen, bathroom, laundry, and mechanical closet into the core, we were able to design an efficient MEP system allowing for more flexible living space in the home. Surrounding the core is the living area. And in the living area, what we tried to do was uh, create a space that had all the amenities that a family needed um, within a smaller footprint. So looking at the outdoor, the water feature on the porch starts to tie it all together and relate to the different layers of the house. The exterior walls of the house are, are a lot more efficient than an average home. So what we've done is super insulate the walls with blown-in fiberglass insulation um, as well as rigid insulation on the exterior. Um, the framing technique we use is a, a technique called advanced framing where we line up the spacing of the floor joists and the roof joists so that we can make the material as efficient as we can and uh, reduce the amount of waste to the, the, the framing of the house. The windows are also insulated to help reduce heat gain in the summer months. We made sure to take advantage of passive ventilation strategies by having higher operable windows along the east wall and lower ones on the west wall, allowing fresh air to easily pass through the house. The outermost layer of the house is the paneling system. This unique cladding plays many different roles in the home. Aesthetically, it creates a clean silhouette for the exterior by hiding the structure for the solar panels. The translucent nature of the panels allows you to see through to the roof and walls behind, creating another connection between the different layers. And then functionally, it acts as a rain screen and also um, responds to different solar, um, solar controls. And on the west side, we have operable panels over the window, and on the south, there's also operable sliding panels, as well as an overhang that helps to protect from the sun. Um, so the reason we went with the polycarbonate is because it, it's inexpensive, it's easily accessible, and it's very low maintenance. So it was the right choice for us for this sustainable family home. What started out as a simple diagram of a central core has developed into a complex system of relationships intertwining different layers of the house, which has helped to create a holistic design that is interesting, innovative, and functional. Mm -hmm.